to create this smooth, liquid glass transition for your videos. Today I'll show you how to make a liquid glass animation inside DaVinci Resolve, fast, easy, and super cinematic. Let's jump right in and see how it works. Let's start with a background and a media out node. Between them, add two merge nodes. Now we'll create two backgrounds, one for day, one for night, and connect them through the merges. Behind the images, add backgrounds, we'll use them for the transition effect. Adjust their size in the merge nodes, and change the background size if needed. Both images were made in mid-journey, using prompts that keep the details consistent. After we've adjusted the size of both images, let's focus on the transition itself. On the top image, lower the alpha value. This will let the bottom layer show through and help us create that nice, gradual blend between day and night. Take a moment to align the two images carefully, so their main details overlap. That way, when we add the liquid glass effect, the transition will look clean and seamless, as if the lighting in the scene is actually changing. Now let's start building the liquid glass effect, a technique you can use in lots of different projects, not just this one. We'll need three nodes, a merge node, a rectangle node, and a displace node. Now let's connect everything together. From the merge node, connect the output to the yellow input of the displace node. Then take the output of the displace node and connect it to the green input of the second merge. Next, connect the rectangle node's output to two places, the green input of the displace node and the blue input of the second merge. Once everything's linked correctly, you should start to see a faint outline or circular shape appear on the image. That's the base of our liquid glass area. Now let's go to the displace node's inspector panel. Set the smooth value to minus one and the refraction strength to minus four. Then start increasing the spread value. As you do, you'll see the liquid glass effect start to appear. This is where the image begins to distort and take on that fluid, glass-like look. In the rectangle node, you can adjust the shape of the liquid glass area. Use the corner radius, height, and width settings to fine-tune its form until you get the look you want. Once everything is set up, select the three nodes that make up the liquid effect. Copy them with Ctrl plus C, then paste them with Ctrl plus V. Now, use a new merge node to connect the duplicated setup. This will become the moving glass effect in our animation. Once that's done, let's add two more merge nodes. These will be used for the icons we'll place in the scene later. They'll sit on top of the liquid glass effect and help complete the final look of the animation. In the rectangle node, adjust the height and width values to shape the liquid glass area exactly how you want it. In the displace node, use the spread setting to control the outline. And with light power and angle, you can adjust the intensity and direction of the lighting. For example, to match the light source in your image. Now that the effect is ready, let's bring in the two icons. Connect each one to the merge nodes. Then adjust their size in the merge inspector and place them where they belong in the scene. If one of the icons doesn't match the scene, we can easily fix it. Press Shift plus space, add a color corrector node, and connect it right after the media node. Then, in the inspector, use the color wheel to adjust the tone of the icon, and the gain control to make it lighter or darker, until it fits nicely with the rest of the composition. Now comes the important part, the animation. We'll start by animating the backgrounds. The transition will happen between frame 25 and frame 45. So, at frame 25, set a keyframe for the background alpha and make it 1. Then, at frame 45, change the alpha to 0, this will make the first image fade out. For the second background, do the opposite. Set the alpha to 0 at frame 25 and 1 at frame 45. So it fades in smoothly as the first one disappears. Next, let's animate the glass effect in the rectangle node. For the first one, we'll make it start closed and then open up during the transition. At frame 25, set keyframes for the original values, this will be our reference point. Then go back to the beginning and add another keyframe. But this time, reduce the width value so the shape is smaller or fully closed. As the animation plays, the glass area will smoothly expand, creating that liquid opening effect as the transition begins. For the second glass effect, we'll make it pop up instead. At frame 25, set the original values as keyframes. Then go back to the start and set both the width and height to zero. So it starts completely invisible. Around frame 10, increase the width and height to values slightly larger than the original. To create that quick pop-up motion, then it settles back to normal size at frame 25. Feel free to experiment with the exact values until it looks right. The goal is to give it a smooth but lively popping effect. Now let's create the slide transition between the two icons. 
Go to frame 25 and set a keyframe for both the X and Y position values. Then move to frame 45 and add another keyframe. This time, change the X position to slide the icon across the screen. This will create a smooth movement between the two icons, perfectly matching the timing of the liquid glass transition. And for that perfect final look, let's fade in the icons as well. In the merge node settings, bring up the blend control. Set it to zero at the start and then to 1 at frame 25. This way, the icons will gradually appear together with the animation, making the whole transition look smooth and seamless. And there you go, a clean, liquid glass transition from day to night in DaVinci Resolve. Quick to make, and it looks amazing in any edit. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more editing tips.